Hello! Hello! It's time! It's time for the stream! Yay! I feel like maybe I should have started from from the just chatting screen. Maybe I should go over there first in the future. Oh, you know what else I, I should do? I should turn off the settings bar that y'all could see down there. Oops. <laughs> ah well. Well, anyway, hello folks. Welcome to the beginning of the stream. I need to turn the music down in my ears. <laughs> it's probably ducked quiet enough for you all, but I'm sorry, Spy. Your your character theme song for D and D is too too epic in my ear holes. God damn it! And now we just have utter chaos music. <laughs> Anyway, welcome to the stream. Today is International Non-Binary Day. Yay! Woo! Fun fact, that includes me. Yay! <laughs> chaos, indeed, indeed. We did get chaos music immediately. Basically perfect. <laughs> um, yeah! So, I guess we're gonna hop in- oh my god, this is too loud in my ears still. There we go. <laughs> Enough of this. <laughs> Enough of this chaos music. There we go. It probably gets insanely quiet while I'm talking, but that's fine. Nobody needs to hear it. <laughs> that was probably too quiet, I think. Freaking loop-de-loop -loop galaxy. Anyway, let's get over to streaming. Yeah. So... I am working more on my thesis, working on uh, modeling Ace Beaumont, who I put the reference of up on my Twitch screen. Um, it would help if I also pulled it up, because I'm a fool. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're going to be probably working more on the hair textures today because I watched a tutorial from Aragama Witch on how to do hair textures. I'm also going to remember to start up my gosh dang um, Clip Studio. That would be helpful if I started up Clip Studio. <laughs> also, if I had the folder open with the textures, that would be important. <laughs> so... We're going to work more on the hair texture. I also, if you look at the ref, Ace has a little um, collar near his neck. And once again, watching an Aragama Witch video, uh, she got a new model in Vroid, and I saw that she did a collar that was made out of hair. So, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put a I'm gonna put Ace's collar in, um, once we kind of figure out what needs to be done with it. But I think our first stop is we're gonna work more on the hair, because that the hair just needs help. <laughs> so, what I'm going to do these open the hair file. Yeah, nailed it. Um, we don't necessarily need the symmetry tool going, so I'm gonna actually just turn it off like that. And let's see, I like the values that are on this, but it's just too detailed, I think. <laughs> So if I remember correctly from the tutorial that I watched, also Clip Studio, why are you making my my stylus disappear whenever I hover over Clip Studio? What the heck? Well, now I'm just not permitted. Oh, because there's no layer. <laughs> mm, that would help. That would actually help if I could get that correct. But, you know, whatever. <laughs> okay. So, let me pop back over here. So, yeah, I think my shadow layer is just too frickin' detailed. So, 
that's what we're going to be doing. Is just making the shadow layer a little less detailed. Um, I like the value that's here, so edit, fill, new layer, and there's a little bit of a gradient in some of those. I might introduce a teensy bit of one just to, you know, make it look nice, but I don't want to have too much of one. So I think let's just go like that and like that. So there's a shadow layer and then I do like these highlights so I'm thinking I'm gonna actually just copy these copy these from here then paste them into here <laughs> even though they don't actually quite make sense I literally just said our shadow layer was too big what am I doing what am I doing? Um, also, I need to change my brush settings back to using C instead of E because I was animating in Photoshop last night. So I changed my keyboard sh shortcuts for Photoshop. There we go. So this is pretty good here. That's, that's too much right there. Too much detail. Too much. Stop hitting the brush tool, me. That's not how you do it. Ah. I got used to using Photoshop last night. And now I'm just stuck back where I was. So far this whole playlist is chaos. So it is... It's many thoughts head full, Nintendo music. And the, the video is, um, I can actually just put it on stream. It, it's, it's Psyduck. And then as the video actually progresses, um, Psyduck gradually gets closer to the screen, which you can see in the video thumbnail. And then let me move this over so it's not covered by Ace. But by the end of the video, Psyduck is really close, and there's just like that math meme, <laughs> like just fading through for the last like 20 minutes. I don't think it's the last 20 minutes. It's the last um 54. This is so it's the last like five minutes of the video. It's absolutely magical. This is this is usually what I listen to when I have too much homework due. <laughs> It's probably one of my favorite playlists. <laughs> Many thoughts, head full, is how I feel on a regular basis as a student. <laughs> Alright. Let me save this, and then I think we'll be exporting it. Uh, file. Export. Single layer. PNG 3A. I guess we'll just call this 4A since it's so dang new. I genuinely don't know how you can focus with this music, but to each their own. When I I like can't get into like serious work to get it done, which is why I'm okay with listening to it on stream because I'm not gonna get into a deep focus on stream. Um, <laughs> but I just. When I have too much homework, this makes me feel appropriately anxious to get it done. Hi Luna! Welcome to the stream! How are you doing today? I guess you probably just walked in on me saying that this music is make, makes me appropriately anxious when I have a deadline. <laughs> ah, goodness. Alright, let's see. Let's head over to Heroy. And we're gonna hop on over to the hair texture. I don't know why this is on the base hair. I don't want to work on the base fucking hair. <laughs> That's valid! Yes! Yay! Thank you! 
I have a playlist just for school where I, um, it's just full of, like, boss music. <laughs> oh, this is, this is the wrong folder. Um, textures, hair, there we go. It's just a bunch of boss music and whatnot. This is, this is still too much dark. The dark is still too much. No. No. All right, let's see if I can adjust the width of the texture. Can I adjust the texture width to make it not be as wacky? Oh. Oh, that helps, actually. I can just set offset like that. That's actually much better. Wow, that's so much better. Oh, I could also make it insanely thin. Okay. Happy Envy Day! Yay! Yay! Thank you, Luna! Yeah, I heard about it. My, um, my, my mom sent me a post on Instagram that was like, hey, it's Envy Awareness Week. And I was like, what? And then I looked it up yesterday and it's like, Envy Day's tomorrow. I was like, oh, I get to stream on Envy Day. Yay. Encoding overload. Consider turning down the video settings or using a faster encoding preset. Mah. Mah. What if I just want to... What if I want to grind my CPU into the ground? <laughs> Aw, mom is on top of her facts. She is, she is. She, she's super nice and supportive. <laughs> Alright, let's see. This hair should probably be pretty wide. And then we'll keep the highlight position up pretty high. Unless this doesn't need to be super wide. I don't really know. I can't see the details very easily on this hair. <laughs> I have I have no idea if oh. <gasps> ah! Ah, can't go! Ah, can't go! Can't go! Oh! Oh heck thank you, can't go! Yay! Oh guess what? You get to use the emote! Oh god, guess what else I have to do? So I made my goal instead of hitting like a new follower goal. Um, I just freaking um, I made it that I would swap my VTuber model to Ace for the stream. So um, <laughs> yes, you get to use the emote. So in that case, um, uh, avatar selection. Are y'all ready? I did not make the clothes for Ace myself on this. I just imported them. Um, I just imported them from Boosh. <laughs> so, yeah, I can grab where I got the clothes if anybody wants them. But, hello! Such a cool emote! Ah! Ah, thank you! <laughs> I saw it, but Ace isn't done yet. How that work? It's such... Yeah! It me! I don't know... Why are my eyes stuck closed? <laughs> I'm too happy. You're not allowed to be happy as Ace Beaumont. Otherwise, everything is just... My my eyes are stuck closed. <laughs> ah, Ace! You like Ace? Yay! I'm glad you like him, too. What should I say? I'm glad you like me, too. Blah, 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 blah. I'm Ace. I'm a big grumpy butthole. Blah. Blah. Hello. <laughs> this is not. <laughs> I should probably put this back. Okay. So I definitely <laughs> blah blah blah. Yeah, aces. <laughs> Big grumpy butthole. Yeah. I definitely. I have to go in and fine tune the model more. Also, I haven't given him his big uh, eyebrows. Is this smooch cam? Is this Ace Beaumont smooch cam? We can have Ace Beaumont smooch cam if you would like. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn auto blink on with Ace because his eyes just end up closed too often. <laughs> Next sub gets a smooch. Hello, I am Ace Beaumont. Hello. 
So, so yeah, I guess I'll just zoom out and be like, ooh, oh yeah, here we go. Look at that model. Ooh, we got a whole heckin' gosh dang model. This is, these clothes are just imported from Boosh. <laughs> but I was like, eh, why the heck not? So there I am. Oh, 10 out of 10 outfit. Yay, thank you. Hi, Scarlet. Thank you so much. Oh, I just realized that that covered. Oh, no. Oh, no. What cover the follower got all there? I need to move the Streamlabs alerts up there. 10, 10, 10s across the board. Yay. Yay. Okay. So, sweet. Let's hop back over here! Heck. Oh no, and then it just nukes how my chat looks over there. Good job, me. Very good job. Ace, why are you- why are you constantly stuck smiling? I'm going- I'm going to freaking recalibrate your smiling so you can't smile all the time, Ace. Stop that. Loving the outfit from the knees down, the hoodie isn't my style, but yay, Ace! Yay! Yeah, I just wanted to import something that, um, that looked, like, kind of cool. <laughs> he looks like a King- I- he looks like a Kingdom Hearts character. I am going to freaking recalibrate the- the fun expression. So, pardon me if I have to make a very serious face. Okay, I'm gonna calibrate the fun expression so that nobody makes a smile. Wait. Wait, if this is on the neutral face. No. Okay. I just realized that if I made no expression while I was just generally talking, he was gonna make it that all the time. <laughs> Next sub, Ace gets a smooch. Oh, we have a clip. Oh, we have a clip. Oh, we got a clip. Next sub gets a smooch. Hello. I am Ace Beaumont. <laughs> oh, oh, that's amazing, Keiko. Oh, that's a fantastic, absolutely fantastic clip. Good, good job. I love it. Heck yeah. Also, Keiko, you can use the new emote. You're so powerful. That's very powerful. <laughs> okay. So I think we still gotta make the, the texture just a bit shorter in terms of, um, just both ways. <laughs> Sorry, Ace, I'm busy fixing your hair, and also I am Ace. <laughs> is this Cooking Mama music? It might be. Uh, this is Delivery Duel We Party. The last song was uh, uh, Crescent Island from Diddy Kong Racing. It's like one of those dating video recordings from way back when. I love it. Yay! I have no idea what those looked like because I'm... I'm a fool like that. I'm I'm a young itty bitty child. <laughs> yes, yes. Look at the emote. Yes. I don't know why my um friggin' gosh dang, you know the god dang it. The 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 emotes that go all over the screen. Emote wall. <laughs> Me neither, but Keiko is grandma. She remembers all the old stuff. Yeah. Sorry, Keiko. Your grandma. It's just how it is. It's the law. <laughs> Have either of you seen the Goldbergs? No, I haven't seen it. Not one bit. I'm gonna slide Ace down. Just an itty bitty bit. There we go. <laughs> now we can see chat. <gasps> ah! Thanks so much for subbing, Scarlet! Oops, now I have to change the model back to Daisy-san. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Scarlet Kitty gets the smooch. Alright. Alright, you ready? Alright. I need you all to know that I, Ace Beaumont, do not consent to this. But I'm not the one operating the VTuber model. I've been possessed. <laughs> uh, Alright, alright, here we go. God, get this over with. There you go. There you go, that's it. Hopefully nobody missed it. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right. All right, let's, let's just go back over here. Don't get too excited, y'all. I wish I could actually do, like, character voices, 
But I can't. <laughs> OMG. <laughs> Best smooch. Literally just zooming in on the camera. Ah, goodness. Goodness. Ace, I... You know what? You know what? Hold on. I need to save this. I'm gonna fix, um, V-Roid Ace's stupid, stupid joy expression where he's closing his eyes way too goddamn much. I don't like it. We're gonna, we're gonna fix it right the heck now. <laughs> All right. This is, this is saving. It's taking way too long. Of course it is. <laughs> do, do, do. Do, do, do. All right. And then we need to quit VRoid out entirely because, of course, you can't re-pick whatever model you want to do. That's lame. But, you know, whatever. It's just how it do be. Hop over here to Punk Ace. Do, 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 do. Maybe I'll make a version. Maybe I'll make... Should y'all should I make the stream version have elf ears? I'm feeling like the stream version should have elf ears. Uh, expression editor. All right, so fun expression, sorrow, joy. You don't don't do that. <laughs> Yes to the elf ears. Also yes to the elf ears. Yes, we got the. Oh, we got the. We got the. We got the smooch clip. We gotta watch it. I want to take a peek. I need you all to know that I, Ace Beaumont, do not consent to this. But I'm not the one operating the VTuber model. I've been possessed. <laughs> all right, all right. Here we go. God, get this over with. <laughs> oh, that's so dumb! There you go, that's it. Oh, that's so dumb in the best way. Alright, Ace no longer has his stupid gosh danged eyes closed whenever that happens. And now we go over to ears. It's so good! Yes, Scarlet, you got that. Oh, you got it. You got the emo. Oh! Oh god, we've slapped a Mr. Froggy on stream. <laughs> oh god, we just have a Mr. Froggy over here. Oh goodness! I'm gonna copy my emote wall because I don't know why my emote wall isn't here. But now we have the emote wall over here. Also, I don't know why Ace's eyebrows like to clip through his own forehead sometimes. But you know. Yes! Yes! There he is, my boy, my man. Oh God! <laughs> I admit it, I love Mr. Froggy. No, nah, that's valid. <gasps> yes! Yes, oh my goodness, that Amos is so tiny. I need to export a higher resolution Amos because I just used the bit. Oh God, oh God, we've got, we've got an NB pride. Maybe I should, I see, Keiko, I see why you have the sound effects turned off. <laughs> ah! Amos. Eeg. He's right here on my face. Amos, Amos, why are you like this? <laughs> oh, that's right. I explicitly disabled them being on chat, but not uh, over my face because I think it's funny when people put stickers over my face. Hmm. <laughs> All right, ear tip position downward. Um, there we go. There we go, my boy, my man, Ace Beaumont. <laughs> well, true it is. Yeah, I'm not a coward. You love the stickers? Yay! Yay! I just added a bunch of ones that I have as Discord emotes already. <laughs> oh God! Oh, we got the Bi Pride one. That, I am going to disable the sound effect on the stream stickers because it keeps making me jump every time. Every time it makes me jump. Also, I thought those weren't supposed to cover chat. Well, okay then. Um, okay. 
Um, where do I configure my extensions? Uh, creator dashboard. <laughs> TBH, I didn't disable the sounds, it just doesn't- didn't work for me for some reason. Weird. Weird. I don't want to have, like, all the sounds turned off, I think they're just too loud for me. Oh! Oh, we've got a menacing daisy! <laughs> Hello, menacing daisy. Alright. Let's go over to the export tab while I'm waiting for this. Um, delete transport transparent meshes. Reduce some hair polygons. Reduce some face polygons. We don't need most of the body polygons. We don't need a lot of the body polygons. <laughs> I did disable the sounds after someone gave me a heart attack during Phasmophobia. Yeah. Yeah, I was going through... Haha, <laughs> boo! Yeah, I went through and, um, whatchamacallit, I disabled some of the stickers that I just didn't like. You almost fell out of your chair! Oh my goodness, I wish I was there to see it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Alright, my extensions, stream stickers, settings. I just, I need to lower the volume of them overall down. Apply. Hopefully that didn't set the price to all of them. Oh no, that set the price to all of them to 10 for a moment. Pull up. Let me fix this. Let me fix this. Oh goodness. Pull up one moment. <laughs> Next time I'll clip it, but sadly yes, I gotta, I gotta go in lurk mode because it's my stream time. Yes, do that Luna. Yeah, have fun Keiko! If you're still going when I'm all wrapped up, I will come and hang out. And thanks so much for subbing! That's so kind of you! Alright, let me get- <gasps> Oh! Kiko, you got that hydrate going! Alright, let's get that hydrate. And... There we go! We got hydrated. I drank some tea. I hope that's okay that I drank tea instead of water. Bye bye, Keiko! <laughs> Alright, now that I screwed up and made all of the, these 10, and I'm fixing that. Okay. Okay. Cool. That should be much better now. <laughs> Hopefully, those stickers are. If the stickers suddenly cost bits and it's not the um, sub emote one. Bye bye, Keiko! Yay! If the sticker suddenly costs bits and it's not the sub emote one, let me know. What is tea if not water with taste? Yes, you're right. It's dirty leaf water! Dirty leaf water time! Um, materials, texture quality, shrink, bone reduction. No, no bone reduction. <laughs> Alright, now let's. Export Ace. This is version 2. Um, get better scroll. Okay. <laughs> Wait, that's a weird center sentence? Nah, it's fine. It's fine. It's a good sentence. <laughs> Alright, and then streaming. Streaming folder. St streaming. VTuber Ace Beaumont PunkAce.VRM Alright, I guess that's what we're calling the file. I never even got past the test. Wow. Wow, okay then. Alright, cool. Then we'll close this back out so I can save this. No, I don't want to quit. Let me save this. And then we'll switch back. I'm gonna go be lurking. Also, my game updated and it's pirate time. Yes! Have so much- have fun! I'm gonna guess you're playing Sea of Thieves, which is totally valid. Sea of Thieves is fun as heck. I presume. Because that's what my boss <laughs> always told me at work. Hee hee hee. chat seems to be busy. Oh yeah! Yeah! Thanks, Streamlabs! Yeah! Alright. This is busy saving. So we're going to hop over to here and go to avatar selection, add avatar, and then let's not, let's not, 
let's grab pumpkin face. Do, 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 do. Version two. Select this. Okay, sweet. I don't know why there's there's fangs when we're smiling, but whatever. That's fine. That's close enough. Do, 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 do. All right. Cool. At least we're not making a real stupid face when we're doing that. Cool. All right. Now let's minimize this. All right. Cool. We're we're Ace Beaumont now today. We are Ace Beaumont today, baby. All right. This is safe, right? I hope this is safe. This better be safe. That would suck if this wasn't. <laughs> That's the wrong tab. No, we launched Vroid again to switch models. Thanks, Vroid. When do I get the UI to switch working on models? <laughs> that would be really nice to have. Uh. Ooh, a half ping is me. Oh, it's Keiko. Because Keiko is streaming. <laughs> Alright. Now we're back in here. And I was fiddling with Ace's hair, and I have still forgotten to do Ace's gosh danged, um, ah, eyebrows. I need, I, I need to get my eyebrows done. <laughs> I don't, I don't care if the phrasing is silly on that. That's what we're doing. Uh, after I do the hair. Gotta, gotta do the hair. Alright. Let's grab this, and then we're just gonna slide this down. I'm just gonna yeet, yeet that down there. That's pretty good. I'm gonna make a new layer, we'll call it multiply, we'll make it this color, and grab the big old, big old soft brush. Very, very big old soft brush. Add a little bit of a gradient there. And I think that layer is blank, so we can delete it. And grab this new layer, overlay. We'll just add a little itty bitty bit of a gradient there. Save this file. Sweet. I say sweet, but we're not even saved yet. Okay. File. Export single layer. PNG. And pair. B. Or B. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably good. I might need to have some of the spots properly overlap better, but we're not gonna worry about it for now. Um, hair editor. Right, that's where we need to go. To the hair editor. And then... We're gonna have to... To the texture, are we gonna have to swap out? Oh, I guess this is just the base hair texture. I'm not gonna swap out the base hair texture. I don't, I don't have the energy to do that. <laughs> All right, import, and then go back to thesis assets. <laughs> Dang, dang, Streamlabs do just be going nuts over there. Thanks, Streamlabs. <laughs> that's, that's not correct. What if I just imprinted that image as the texture? That would not be, that would not be what I wanted. Oh, that looks so much better. Oh, that looks so, so much better. There's still way too much detail on these gosh dang things. But, we're getting there. Get over to the bone design. No, not the bone design. That's, that's not a sentence I thought I would ever be saying. <laughs> uh, Alright, there's base hair. Head poof. Head poof. Let's get our width up. So that we get less of these things showing up. Highlight position. We're gonna slide it forward a little bit. Uh, what is the offset? Is it just to make like each different area look a little bit more unique? Maybe? I don't know, I 
exactly what the offset does. But I think that makes that look reasonably nice. So that's what it's gonna be. <laughs> Short bangs, uh, we probably don't need to adjust that at all. Long bangs, we do need to adjust this. Highlight position, I want it to be up here. We're gonna lower the width, I think? Hmm. Unless I want the width even wider. No. No offset? Oh, there's my offset. Alright. So I'm thinking we're gonna put that right there. Yeah, I don't know why my width setting isn't doing anything on that hair. But I guess that doesn't matter too much, does it? Alright, and then our highlight position should actually probably be way more forward. And our width also not doing anything on there. That's wacky. I don't know why that's like that. <laughs> Alright, and then we'll get the inner ponytail, which should probably be mostly shadows. So let's zoom in a little bit on this sucker. And where? Where is? Where do? Where do it be? Oh, okay. Okie and that's just to make that texture go right there. I don't know why my width slider stopped doing anything, but I would say that hair does look way better. <laughs> I feel like the contrast isn't big enough between the layers though, so let's... Yeah, I think our overlay layer is too bright. And then let's get a layer, correction layer, uh, brightness contrast. Oh. oh, why is our contrast raising the brightness? <laughs> Weird. Weird. <laughs> I don't want to make it too dark. But also, that does have... It does have a lot more contrast. <laughs> All the goth, spooky loving folks in this family and you didn't think you'd ever use the phrase bone design? <laughs> no, fair enough, fair enough. I guess the, um, the latency is being very mean today because I thought I could make the quality better, but alas. I did actually make the output quality a little bit higher, but... It might not be worth it for the longer latency. I'm not really sure. Not really sure. Alright. File. Export single layer. JPEG. No, not a JPEG. That doesn't work. In computer software. I need a PNG. Everybody who ever... All of my professors who ask me to turn in JPEGs make me very sad because computer stuff always wants PNGs. And I'm just like, I just want to work in PNGs, please. Please. Um, Alright, and then we'll hop over to texture. Not that hair one. That one's not good. It's not correct. Import. <laughs> Let's see how this one looks. That is quite a bit better. Yeah, that's much better, actually. I'm glad I went in and did that. <laughs> Alright. Sweet. Let me save my file. Also, I should probably refresh my Streamlabs dashboard so that I can... Um... Hello, VR Roid? Are you saving? Okay, VR Roid is saving because it's also frozen. <laughs> There we are. Alright, so I think we're gonna do Ace's um, eyebrows before I keep forgetting 800 million more times. <laughs> eyebrows. Um, texture, that's right. 
over is the eyebrows. Oh, we're right here on the eyebrows. Of course. Of course, we are just already right here with them. Um, okay. So let's export our eyebrows. We need to set up our eyebrow textures. Uh, new folder. Do, 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 do. Eyebrows! And then... Oh, I need to set the file name. Um, eyebrow... Base. I don't... Oh, I was hitting import instead of export. I'm a fool! Uh... <laughs> Of course, of course. We're gonna call it eyebrow main. I keep hearing, I keep hearing the dinging and the song, the ringing, and thinking it's like, you know, just some sort of stream alert going off, but it's not. I'm a eyebrow guide. All right. And then we can close this, save the studio file, hop on over to our eyebrow folder, open the eyebrows, put the guide layer on top, and then we'll save this as Clip Studio format so I don't screw up <laughs> and not be able to do the thing. Alright, lower this. So that's about where our placement of the eyebrows goes. This shouldn't be too hard since, um, what should we call it? Since the eyebrows went really fast when I did Daisy Song. But yeah, the delay wasn't quite that long. I'd been in the kitchen to pour more coffee and it took a minute to get back to the keyboard. Getting slight buffers today, but not hard. Okay, okay, yeah, I tried upping the quality to um, 480p because before I was like barely at 240p which is like I won't even watch YouTube videos at 240p <laughs> so I was like let me see if I can get it to 480p um, I might crank it down just a little itty bitty bit but hopefully once my new PC arrives um, I should be able to basically, like, compensate for my terrible internet by being able to go absolutely overkill with the, um, like, encoding. <laughs> Alright, so they're all kind of just, like, buff boy eyebrows. Let me grab my ruler. And I think let's go over to my ruler settings, create an editing layer. Don't do that. Because I want it to be right in the middle. I don't know how I managed to eyebrow that. Holy crap. Eyeball. I don't know how I managed to eyeball that. Oh god, I'm like, I'm like word meaning dyslexic. I had that happen, um, I was on the phone with Spy yesterday and he was trying to talk about like there was a job and oh my goodness of course i can't remember what it is now now i can remember we were talking about magnus archives and there's a character called robert smirk who is an architect and um Basically, I couldn't remember the word architect, and I was like, yeah, I'm trying to think of the word that of what this guy is, and I kept going and being like, alchemist, archivist, but neither of those are correct. Oh, we got a posture check. Heck yeah. All right. There we go. Also, my chair is sinking. Let me fix that. There we go. My chair considerably less sunk. <laughs> Mark as complete. Heck yeah. Words are hard today. 
Words are hard, like, all the time for me. I wish I was just... What do you mean I can't just draw a picture of things? <laughs> um, let's up our tolerance. Let's up our gap filling. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Let's get our line layer going. Our stabilization is on. Heck yeah, that should be totally fine then. I'm not ex expecting to need to do more work with the eyebrows, but if I do, then I do. If I don't, then I don't. <laughs> you know? <laughs> there we are. This should be pretty good that little bit. But probably and we should probably make the underside a little thicker to apply a little bit of depth. <laughs> And we'll go right there. All right. Sweet. I'm not feeling like more of this many thoughts head full. No more head. No more head. All right. All right. We're going to get some Chrono Trigger music going. As I hit the pause button on it with the space bar on my keyboard. All right. Save this. Do, 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 do. All right. File, export single layer, PNG, eyebrows, 1A. Let's, let's see how our eyebrows are going if we need to get new eyebrows going. I actually, I want to go through more of the overclocked remixes of Chrono Trigger's music because I freaking love Chrono Trigger. And listening to Overclock Remixes is a good way for me to be able to listen to it on stream. Alright, import. And let's see how these eyebrows look. Yes! Yes, they're a little bit dark. They're a little dark. But, it's something. It is indeed something. Oh, because the base color is going. There we go. I don't know if we need a shade color with them, but I'll leave a shade color right there. They might need to be a touch longer, but I don't know if I can do that. Can I do that with the design for this? Um, eyebrow distance? No. <laughs> AFK, taking a few minutes to swap laundry? Yeah, have fun. Have fun. I get. I say have fun, but it is just doing laundry. Laundry is important, though. Okay, so I think um, I want to make the eyebrows longer, but also I don't think I need to. Hmm. It's tough. I do actually need to bring up a little bit more of a point on the face, or on the eyebrows, but I want to see how the expressions look with this. Sorrow. Alright. Um, I might be able to push some of the expressions even further once I have the eyebrows in, but I'm not gonna go in a huge rush to do that until I have them quite correct. Pop into the paint, and let's get our eyebrows just a little bit, a little bit taller. A little, little itty bitty bit taller. Get that in, and let's turn our guides on so I can see how close I can get with this. I'm gonna go like that because this boy this boy is very masculine he needs the he needs them big chonky thick eyebrows <laughs> I'm probably not gonna be updating the stream model for ace again at least not until this is done <laughs> Because the nice thing about this is I get to have a Vroid model of Ace. Um, just whenever whenever my model for Thesis is done, which is cool as heck. 
Because I'll be able to do, like, cool pieces stuff um, on stream with Ace, which will be rad as hell. Alright, let's erase that out. Eyedropper, brush tool. And then go back to black. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. That might not be perfectly symmetrical, but honestly, I think we're close enough with these. <laughs> Hello? Hello, stream? I need you. I see stream, but. Oh, that button is stuck being called. There we go. Alright, and then. Writing to file. File, export, single layer, PNG. Eyebrow main. 1B. That was just like an itty bitty tweak, so it doesn't need to be too big or anything. Okay, cool. Um, I'm not sure if I want to do the mouth model for Ace, but you know. Alright. Um, right. Texture, and then. Import our eyebrows. Import suckers. Eyebrows 1B. Yes, those look so much more correct. This, this grumpy butthole is like, I'm Ace Beaumont. Alrighty, let's let's check out these expressions. Let's see how they look. There's our neutral, there's our fun. I might need to make I'm thinking I'm gonna have to make these wider actually. Sorrow is pretty dang sad. Angry, mm, mm, that's a good angry expression. It's so appropriately angry. <laughs> Alright, surprised. Blink. Left. Yeah, I should probably worry about the mouth texture for Ace. Just because, like, I need it. I do need it to actually match <laughs> and look appropriately, like, 2D and such. Alright. Let's make our eyebrows just a little bit. Because they have all that space on the texture. I do think these are a little bit too close. So I'm going to slide this back to over here. I can't just transform it. That's right. Sing. Sing. Yes, sing. Sing. Yes, sing. Alright, that's good there. And then... Let's bring this out to here. Have, have B Royd be very, very confused as to why this man's eyebrows are way the hell out here. God, this song is so catchy. I might I might have to get Mario Odyssey eventually. That would be really fun. Maybe. I'm very bad at Mario games, so I'm not sure. I am excited because whenever my new PC arrives, which I gotta keep an eye out for shipping information for it, but whenever it does arrive, I'm gonna actually be able to play PC games on my stream again. Which would be really cool because my laptop just can't handle it. File, export single layer, PNG, save as 1C, save, yes, okay, awesome, cool, 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 so, um, uh, here is... Broid. If I could just hit the right freaking button. Alright. Texture. Now let's bring these. Oh, it cuts off outside of the guide. Damn it. 
Damn it! I don't want it to cut off outside of the guide. Size mapping. World? No. No, that's just for the brush. Oh. Oh. I just want that itty bitty little corner. If I could just get that, it would be perfect. Uh, oh. Let me give this band very long eyebrows. I'll have to. I will make a file that works for now that follows the guides properly, but I'm going to save this file in my back pocket because if I can work with it in, like, outside of Vroid, I'm going to swap the eyebrows to this file. <laughs> Alright, let's turn our guides on, and then let's fix this nonsense. It's like, oh, you need to freaking thingy. What if I don't wanna? What if I don't wanna? Big, big meanies. Heroid, stop limiting in how far my eyebrows can go. Don't tell me what I can and can't do. <laughs> Alright. Then. File. Export single layer. PNG, and then these would be eyebrows, 1D, yeah, export, oh wait, wait, I gotta turn the guide off, otherwise I'll import the guide, file, export single layer, PNG, now eyebrows, 1D, there we are, okay. back into Vroid, and then import, import the 1D eyebrows. God, I just want the other, like, very big, thick ones. <laughs> but, but no, no, of course. All right, and now I think let's go into the expression editor. This is pretty good neutral. Fun is pretty good, I'd say. Where's the eyebrows? Can I put can I push our brows any further? I might be able to set that to 150. Did that, does that actually do anything? I can't tell if that does anything. It might do it just a little itty bitty bit, but I don't think so. Oh, I think that makes it even lower. Oh, wacky. Wacky. Okay, what if we bring this back to 100? That does make that even sadder. Oh my goodness, I added a tinge of happiness to it. And it's so sad now. It's so sad. Oh, our angry boy. Oh, our angry, angry boy. Set it to 150. Oh, he's so angry. <laughs> what about 125 so we're not breaking? Oh, that's 250. <laughs> oh no, I wanted 125. There we go. Okay. I don't know why it's like flipping into the forehead slightly. It's probably because I have some I pro it's probably because I have some weird shapes on the forehead to push things even further. Alright, there's our joy expression. There's our surprise. Uh, oh god, this that makes them fall into the forehead. I wish I could kind of slide them forward. But alas. I think I made made the mouth width too too wide. All right, cool. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna save my file, and 
it is three o'clock now. So what I am going to do is Scarlet, you're back. The brows are looking right. Yay. I I apologize. I was just about to start running the intermission and run a really quick ad break so that I can get up and stretch, get some water and everything. <laughs> so, um, yeah. <laughs> Oops. But I'm glad that we got the eyebrows looking right. <laughs> That means we're going to finally be starting on the clothes. It only took me half of stream to do. Any poozles? Yeah! Oh, and I just realized that starts my intermission timer. I don't want to start my intermission timer quite yet. So, uh, yeah. I'm going to take a really quick intermission. If you haven't gotten a drink or any food or stretched or blinked, take in your meds. Those are important, too. If you haven't done those, go do those. We're going to take a quick three minute intermission. I'm going to run a really quick ad. So yeah, I will be right back in a few minutes. Alrighty! Boo! I am back! Thank you to everyone who hung out for a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna also restart the stream real quick so that I can get our tasty tasty bitrate catching up. Actually, it doesn't seem to be too bad, so we're just gonna, we're just gonna leave it for now, actually. Because I don't want my bod to be split into multiple parts again! Uh, uh, of course. <laughs> So, oh, 
I just figured out why Ace's eyebrows clip sometimes. Because I have my eyebrow sensitivity in BC face cranked up really high. Because my eyebrows don't move a whole lot in real life, so if I actually tracked my eyebrows, they would barely go anywhere. So, um, expression settings. No, no, that's in general settings. Settings. General settings. There we go. I'm sorry. That must be horrible to look at. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, I'm gonna offset my eyebrows really low. What if I just... Oh, I think that... Hmm. Okay. I think that we're gonna... We're gonna just leave our eyebrows at, like, there. And there we go. That seems to be much better. Okay. Turn this off. Cool. Um, I don't know why. I feel like I should be over here now. There we go. I'm like over here more. Uh, also, God, I made Ace's mouth so wide. I mean, he does have a big mouth. <laughs> he is, he's kind of an idiot like that. <laughs> but... Let's hop back on over here. Yeah. All right. So, we got this all done. Eyebrows are done. I can, I should start on the clothes. I absolutely should start on the clothes. Oh my goodness, Scarlet, I just realized you sub subbed at the three months. <laughs> uh, you subbed for three months. That's so nice. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know what we're gonna set the next, um, like, little mini stream goal at, um, debating. Because I had it at 60 followers, I would switch the model over to Ace for the rest of the stream, but also, I'm like, hmm. I could also just reset it, and just every time we get one sub, I will switch the model over to Ace. <laughs> Um, I know I want to start on the clothes, but also I should at least get the mouth set up. Because right now it's just like way too stylized, I guess. Or it's a completely different style. I can see it on my model while I'm talking. Um, so we're gonna, we're gonna do the mouth really quick but we're gonna do that i'm gonna start up photoshop which my laptop's not gonna like because i'm running like three different art programs at once basically <laughs> and making a new folder and streaming but that's how it is we'll set up the mouth texture and we'll make it mouth face i need to at least add some line art to the mouth uh-huh Gives a discount and three months was less than $15, so made sense. Aw, yay! Thank you so much. Yay. I keep, like, gesturing with my hands, and then I remember that y'all can't see it when I gesture with my hands. Aw, oh, man. Man. I'm gonna... I'm, I'm debating if I want to make it a goal for me to get a leaf motion. Um, which would let me track my hands, but that's also like 80 bucks, and I'm debating if I want to try to set up, like, donation type stuff and make that a dedicated goal on stream. But, I'm not sure. Because I'm like, hmm, I just spent money on my computer, and I should wait until it, like, it's like I spent money on my computer ages ago. But still, still, I'm like, hmm. Export. But I'm also like, hmm. I could also save up for uh, Metroid Dread instead. <laughs> now, guide. There is that. And let's, let's pop on over to Photoshop. Now, let's go to our Ace. Textures. Uh, mouth. Put this here. Even if I don't add 
line art to the mouth, I at least want to do kind of what I did for the face body, where I stylized it. Oh god, my workspace is still set up for animation. Ah! Window, workspace, mine. Don't set this up for animation. I don't want it to be. Alright, and then filter. Filter gallery. There it is. I don't know what color I usually make the inside of the mouth. Oh, this does the line art pretty nicely, actually. How much? Oh! That's pretty cool, actually. I'm gonna keep that in mind for adding line art to this. But for now, I want to do the cutout. Um. I need our edge simplicity pretty good. Edge fidelity. Can we crank the number of levels up higher? Value between 2 and 8 is required? That's not what I want. Not what I want at all. Alright, fine. Poster edges. Um, let's add a... Can we add a cutout effect on top? No. Let's do cut out down lower. We'll turn poster edges off. Mm -mm. No, cut out is not doing the job. Posterization. I want it, but also it's not quite doing it. Edge intensity. Get a little bit more edge thickness. Edge intensity down. But this will get me my nice little outlines without having to go totally nuts with my liner. Unless we set it to fresco. No, that's not gonna do it. Paint jobs is nice, actually. Mm, that's still really soft in terms of stylization, which I don't want. Watercolor, shadow intensity. Texture? No. Brush detail? Hmm. No, yeah, let's just do let's just do poster edges for now. Because that gives me the nice outline right here. And I think what we're gonna do is just kind of manually paint this to look good. <laughs> The opacity is on here. Oh, I need to put this right on top. And turn our opacity off here. And let's get our symmetry tool going. Horizontal axis symmetry. Place that about there. The lovely thing about doing texture work is a lot of it is symmetrical. Which is really nice. <laughs> Which is done uh, mostly to speed up making models. But it also, it's just so much less of a headache. <laughs> Alright, there's that. I don't know why I hit pixel select. Symmetry off. And then I'm gonna turn the opacity down on it just a little bit so that it blends better. And then I think we'll go. Like this. Let's get that in there. And alright, let's put another layer on top so I can repaint that out. I never brought our guides in. Oh, I'm a fool. I kinda need our guides. I did not want that on the new layer, Photoshop. What are you doing? There we are. That way I can actually tell where these go. Turn this down. Now the thing is, is I don't know which side of these teeth is the top or the bottom. So what I'm going to do instead is just kind of outline all of it. <laughs> um, I think these are horizontally symmetrical between these two, so if I can just get this like 
pixel perfect between these. All right. Now let's see. No, don't zoom in that far. I know I said pixel perfect, but Jesus Christ. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this needs to get slid down to there. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh no, it's snapping between pixels. <laughs> Snap is off. Oh no. Oh, how dare you. No, I can only nudge one pixel at a time. No, I need to go in between pixels. Uh, fine. Okay. This should actually- this should at least be close enough. <laughs> I know I'm in here trying to make things literally pixel perfect, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> Alright. And then I'm just gonna put this outline all the way around the edge of this. And hopefully, that does the trick. If it doesn't, I will be, I don't know, somewhat disappointed, I guess. <laughs> Alright, there's that. Stop zooming in. <laughs> Photoshop. I don't want this. Alright, guys are off. We have our lines between there, symmetry off. I'm thinking it should be good enough. Save as. We need to save this as a PSD so I don't break my original file. God, this song is. Mm, I really like this jazzy mix. Gear Gateway, Super Smash Bros. 3DS. I don't remember that being a thing, but alright. Save a copy. I'm so angry that Photoshop changed save as into save a copy. Oh, it's so... Mm. Mm, Photoshop just changing random things. <sighs> Unfortunately for them, I have a comprehensive list of Photoshop alternatives <laughs> for basically the entire creative suite. I actually should probably be switching video editors soon just so that I can start learning something besides Premiere. <laughs> Alright, let's go over to Expression. Change this so I can see inside the mouth. Um, yeah, that should be good enough. Texture. Oh, I wanted you to leave that there so I could see it. Oh. I just wanted... Oh, wait, 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 wait. If I go over to the camera exporter, that's how we do it. That's how we do it. That's right. And now, uh, expression. Uh, so that gets the mouth open so I can actually look at it. That's probably worth it. I don't really need the whole entire face to be making that, though. So let's just set it so the mouth is, uh, Okay, now let's go over to the face editor and mess with the texture for the mouth. It's like being a doctor telling someone, hey, open your mouth so I can look inside. Mouth 1A. Oh, that's the middle of the teeth. <laughs> okay then. So that, that texture is the middle of the teeth right there. I'm guessing that if I look very closely, sorry y'all, <laughs> sorry anybody who's really grossed out. This is as much as we can zoom in. I'm guessing that the line right here is where it goes. I don't know which side is the top or bottom jaw whatsoever. Um, Alright, so this 
right here. That's the inside. I'm guessing this is probably the inside of the other side. Yep. So, this is the outside of the teeth. And I can't, I physically cannot tell. But this is probably the line between? Because that's the line between. I don't know. I don't know. Did they wrap it around the outside very cleverly? That seems like it's the top. Alright, so that middle part seems like it's actually it. Um. Delete. Add a new layer on top. I'm just trying to figure out where each thing goes. So I guess that's probably the mod- the- yeah, that's the top of the bottom. And then this is the top of the top layer. Okay, so I need to erase that line out because that's where the teeth connect and I need to make a line along here. Okay, so this is weird. So they have the- instead of dividing the teeth into top and bottom, they have them divided by left and right. That's terrifying <laughs> and weird as hell. How is our tongue looking? Or is our tongue looking appropriately stylized? Not really. I mean, the shadow's certainly much nicer. Um, and the inside of the mouth is pretty good, I'd say. I'm probably gonna add like just a little thing across the whole mouth. Because I'm suspecting that this is the center of the mouth right here, and these are the left and right sides of it. And then I think for the tongue, I want to make this, I want to uncurve the tops of this a little bit, so we don't have as much detail. And the top edge of that is where the outline goes, so I'm going to get an outline between the two pieces of the tongue. Okay. Let's, let's get this rocking out. Mm -hmm. I could probably actually hop on over to Photoshop now with this file. Or not Photoshop, Clip Studio. Clip Studio. I don't know why I needed Photoshop. Oh, right, because I was doing the posterization. Now that the posterization is done, I don't need you, Photoshop. Ha! Ah, get out of here. You're not important to me, Photoshop. <laughs> Alright, so our lines, we're gonna get our guide on. Guide on! Guide on, you coward! I want you to turn on. What's going on here? Oh, oh, we're stuck on the move tool again. Every, every time. Alright, and I don't need this open anymore. Because I just realized y'all were looking at two different reps of Ace. <laughs> Turn this on. And then... This is our liner. So let's get our ruler tool. And we'll just shove this right there. And pop on over to the eraser. Wait. Oop, that's the wrong layer. this and like that. Boom. And then the center line is where all this goes. That was way too thin. Let's put this let's put that right there. Alright, sweet. There's that. And then eyedropper pick up from the layer. And Let's move our, move our symmetry ruler down. <laughs> that's really cool that I can just kind of move the symmetry ruler. Oh, that's beautiful. It's so much easier than Photoshop. <laughs> Let's round this out. Round it on out. So I just don't want that to be quite as detailed. 
and that's good. And now, pop back to our liner layer. And... This is uh, our UV map where it wraps around. So, let's do this. Let's reach pretty far back and see how it goes. Um, that's the complete change of our layer to cover that. And this is that soft layer. So I think team display color. I'm going to delete that ruler, make a new one that is vertical, and we're going to make sure it's exactly on. Awesome. And let's grab a G pen, and we're just going to, we're just going to go like that with it. That's much nicer. Sweet, sweet, sweet. I think... I think that's all we need to do to the mouth for now. File. Export. Single layer. PNG. Turn the guides off, Daisy. File. Export. Single layer. PNG. There we go. Mouth. And then this will be... 2A, since I'd say adding better line art is a pretty big change to it. And then we'll see how it goes over. I might have to remove the line art from the tongue, but we'll see how that goes. See if I can have the tongue line art. Mm, nope, that looks wacky. I do have line art for my teeth, though. Hell yeah, I got teeth line art. And never mind. Okay, so this is the front of the mouth, and this is the back of the mouth. <laughs> All right. So that means that I need to do it on one of these sides. Oh, I gotta figure out which side is which on the mouth now. Is this also left and right sides? Okay. So this is the right side. The left side of the texture is his left side of the mouth. Okay. So... I go... That's really far forward. Is this the back of the mouth? That's the roof of the mouth! And then I guess the back of the mouth is up here? Oh my goodness, this is madness. So I should actually be going... I should actually be going more like this? No. I should be... Oh, this is madness. Complete madness, I tell you. Hmm. Hmm. I do like this color, though. I could just fill the whole mouth that color. That's really tempting to just fill the whole mouth this color. Alright, what about if we go eyedropper, get that color, and we fill the whole mouth this color? What do y'all think of that? I do actually like that. Well, this is what we're doing. <laughs> this is what we are doing. This texture is gonna be a little messy. Doesn't matter. I like how this looks. <laughs> Be a little bit too dark actually. What about what about this? Uh, more saturated. How's that? That's pretty good. I usually like more stuff 
Would it look too dark? I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't know. This is what we're gonna try to do, though, I think. Let's turn the thickness of our brush up so we can cover this faster. I like how this looks, so this is what we're doing. I like making stuff extra colorful. So, there we go. And I think if I remember correctly how it is in my own brain, um, it's pretty close to how, what you call it? Oh my goodness. Uh, it's pretty close to what color I think Mary's mouth is in, like, that, that free rig that everybody learns to animate on. What if I just made this center bit real dark? Well, that's not set up right. That's not set up right at all. Move that. Can I? There we go. Get that undone. All right. That looks a little wacky right there. We're gonna need to smooth out this gradient. I got that though, that's not too hard. That's just doing some basic blending. All right, eyedropper right in between these two. And then do that. Eyedropper right in between these two. And make this a little smaller. Make this a little bit smaller. Sweet. There's that. I think that's a decent gradient if I look over to here. Yeah, that's pretty good. And then, yeah, we're gonna have to remove the outline from the tongue just because it doesn't... Unless I made it thicker. That would, that would probably be okay if I made it thicker, actually. <laughs> So actually, let's turn the guides back on. Let's go over to the symmetrical ruler, delete it, make a new ruler, um, run one right there, and there's our line art. Cool. Let's make this a little bit thicker. I think if we make it thicker and kind of just cover the side of the mouth or the side of the tongue, it'll be like fine <laughs> if it doesn't look too freaking weird because <laughs> most of how I'm accomplishing my tune shading is um, by hand painting the textures so we'll see how it looks file export single layer PNG Part of why I'm working in v with this is just because it makes the troubleshooting process so much easier since I know how to use the program! Alright, export that. And now let's see if this is too ridiculous. Import... Uh, mouth to b I left the guides on! Again! That outline looks fine though, now that I made it thicker, actually. And I should probably actually push it even closer to the edge. Let's go turn... <laughs> OMG, such mouth detail, never thought about that. Yeah. Yeah, it's one of those things that you don't... You don't think about it when you're doing... Uh, when you're just watching an animation. Um, Because, like, 2D animation, you only need to just draw, like whatever is most detailed, and you only need to do a detailed shot of the mouth if you're drawing a detailed shot of the mouth, you know? <laughs> um, I'm gonna actually move this and preemptively get the bottom of the mouth texture as well, just so that I have it done, and it at least connects up decently. <laughs> But yeah, the thing with, like, animation is, like, they don't get nothing. The fact, part of why I'm actually working with b is because it gives me something to start off with, because if I were building this entire model from scratch, it would take me a million years, and I would never, ever, ever get to the quality that I want for my thesis. 
so I'm like, well, they said they had to do, we had to do the models ourselves, but we're allowed to use any software, and you're allowed to use Vroid models for pretty much any purpose you want. Um, so I was like, yeah, yeah, let's just do it. Uh, mouth to C. Let me take a sip of water. Oh, oh, I hear it in my voice. I need the water. <laughs> <laughs> I've been meaning to, like, do the clothes on Ace for a million bajillion years, like the last two streams, but I keep finding other details with the face, and I'm like, no, I need to get those correct. Alright. The outline might look a little bit thick in places, but I think it's correct for, like, where it should be, with the edges. And, like, the bottom bottom plane of the mouth might be a little weird in terms of the outline, but sweet. And you're not going to get the outline from like all angles with the mouth. That's something I could probably do with the post, but this way I don't have to keep my lines too thick. Um, I'm not sure if I have the technical skill to do it, but I was looking into how Guilty Gear exerted because it's one of the main, like, visual style inspirations for God Slayer. Um, they actually did, instead of hand painting their line work onto the model, which I would actually zoom in and show you this, but, like, Ace's beard and scar and, like, everything on his face is drawn on with a texture, so you can't scale that up infinitely. It's that thing of it's a PNG, it's not using a vector. So when I get really close, things get pixelated. But what they actually did in Guilty Gear is they used UV maps and set them up so that they pinch together where like a character's muscles are. And it's so friggin' cool because it gives them like that line work without, um, needing to basically, like, draw it, and it scales up pretty much infinitely. The character close-ups. God! Ah! Oh, look at the- Oh, I got a little bit of mouth texture! Oh, look at that little teeth outline. Look at that little teeth outline when he talking. I appreciate that the teeth outline is very visible from, uh, here. Let me see how my other expressions actually look with the uh, other stuff. Because that's the important thing, is uh, if I can get these. The other nice thing about exporting to um, with Vroid is I'll have blend shapes for myself. Which, oh my god, blend shapes are really complicated and weird to explain. But think of it as... Um, I think the easiest way I could explain blend shapes is if you've ever seen the behind the scenes for Nightmare Before Christmas or any like live or oh my goodness what's the term stop animation movie where they basically have different masks for the characters different faces and expressions blend shapes are basically like a keyframe um, where you have that mask for a character that's not visible all the time and a blend shape tells the computer how to transition to that mask on the face, which is really cool. What's the abbreviation UV in UV maps? I actually don't know. Um, I know it's how it wraps around, so let me actually just look it up. What does UV stand for? 3D modeling. <laughs> UV mapping is the 3D model pooling process of projecting a 2D image onto a 3D model surface for texture mapping. The letters U and V denote the axis of the 2D texture because X, Y, and Z are already in use to denote the axis of the 3D object in space. That's really cool, actually. <laughs> That's really cool. So, there you go. I don't know... It, I could actually open the tab and see... I think they're just like X and Y respectively. That would make sense because it's like people always say X and Y axis. But yeah. So 
Let's see. Let's get, let's worry about Ace's clothes. On body editor, I don't want to be on. I'm on the body editor. Give me, give me Ace's bod. Uh, no, no, we need to be on the clothing editor. That's right. So what I have done is I've basically because you can't import new clothing models into Vroid is I've gotten. Uh, I've gotten clothing set up that is really close, or relatively close, to the overall shape of Ace's clothes. And part of why I'm actually using such poofy sleeves is to basically get me closer to having muscled arms on Ace without having to actually modify his upper arms because that can cause a lot of clipping issues. And I might actually go in and erase some of the skin map out to basically make a clipping friendly version because there's a really cool trick you can do um if you make a mesh transparent in vroid you basically get to have you can you have a little box you can tick to erase transparent meshes and it means you're also not wasting polygons on that little bit which is, one, really good for optimizing the model, but also when you go to do animations with the character, you can't have your upper arms clip through your chest if there's no upper arms. <laughs> so, like, if you just know that you'll never see the character's upper arms, you can just be like, yeah. Because you can actually see, if you look really closely here, you see how the liner, the edge here is changing slightly. It's because the sleeves for Ace's uh, body, or it's because the sleeves are clipping into Ace's body a little bit. So, yeah. <laughs> anyway, that's a little bit of uh, really technical animation nonsense. And I don't mind getting into that on streams if people ask, because, like, college education is freaking expensive! Oh, goodness. And trying to figure out how to, like, study things yourself is such a pain, too. <laughs> but, let's hop into here. So, what I'm basically gonna do is do what I did for Daisy-san. And I'm gonna sketch in, like, the rough bits that I need on Vroid. And then hopefully do the details on, uh which we call it in Clip Studio. <laughs> so this might be a little boring and very messy for a little bit, but you know, hopefully it'll be good. Um, okay, cool. Let's go like this. I'm gonna worry about erasing out Ace's chest. I'm gonna lower this. Lower the size of this. <laughs> And then I think the collar needs to go around more like that. And I mentioned it at the beginning of the stream, but what I'm actually going to do for Ace's collar, because I think, I'm not sure if I'll be able to transfer some of the physics over or if I'll need to redo those in Maya, but when I was watching a video by Aragama Witch, she had a new model for herself that had hair right around it was basically set up so technically it was hair in vroid because you can make um accessories in, in that way by just changing the texture which is just what the system draws and she had a collar set up on her character so yeah that's what i'm thinking i want to do that okay let's get I need to get this part erased out because it's just so, like, lopsided. <laughs> There's so many, like, itty bitty. Oh god, we're zooming in too much! We're zooming in too much! Oh no! Zoom out, please. And then hop over here. No, oh, please stop zooming. Please stop zooming. Oh no. Oh no, we got the offset going. 
the offset is here for us. Eroid. <laughs> Eroid, I need you to not be stuck right there. Alright, let's just use my mouse for a second. Is that Eroid maybe calculates correctly? It does not... Eroid specifically does not technically support tablets that are not Wacoms. So... They're like, no, we're only going to test things on Wacoms. And I'm just like, really? You know that most broke-ass artists can, can't afford those, right? <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah. <laughs> Let me get this sleeve properly erased out. Hopefully I have symmetry on and it's getting the other side. Otherwise I'm going to have to manually paint this out. And that's the texture seam right there, which they cleverly made the seam on the clothing. It's actually pretty clever. Too bad I'm a coward and we're not gonna have seams on my clothing, because yeah, I'm a coward. Also, still hair. Wow, I said hair and I meant cloth. I am truly a fool. This erased. I don't know if this is actually getting the spot that it's supposed to be. Oh god, we've been on a big old soft brush this whole time. Okay, that was getting the spot it's supposed to be. Sweet. So, let's go in. I got that erased down to the right height. I can't make the uh, shirt any tighter around the waist, but I can always go in and do that manually. Alright, so Ace has his sleeves rolled up just above the elbows. I think I'm just going to sketch my guides in on top on a new layer. Um, let's go over to the pencil tool. Lower our size. And then... I think this is right about where I want the sleeves. Not quite. Zoom out, please. Photoshop, I need you to zoom out. I say Photoshop, but we're not working in Photoshop. Truly the fool that I am. Oh no. Eroid. Eroid, let's not do that. So I think I want that to go right about there. I think this is correct enough. And then I just gotta make sure it lines up at the seams. That is sort of the most important part that the seams line up. Since I'm gonna be working in 2D with it. Alright, that makes sure the seams line up. Here's that. Um, I'm gonna manually draw in some of the creases, I think. This is technically a lady shirt, which is great. <laughs> For like the lady models. I think this, this is actually uh, a dress model. <laughs> But I've just erased the bottom of it. Oh my goodness, be right. Don't do that. I don't think I want the armpits to actually be flush in like that. But, yeah. Okay, so then the collar needs to line up right there. I'll see if I can get the collar lined up right there the hair model. But, it's vest time. Time to draw that vest in, baby. <laughs> That is... I don't... No, don't zoom in! I was hitting control Z! I was hitting control Z! Why are you zooming in? <laughs> B-Roid! Why do you betray me? It thinks... I don't know why it's like... Oh yes, you're hitting control Z! That must mean you want to zoom in! Also, we're just gonna draw with an offset stylus, I guess. That's just my life. <laughs> and this. Yeah, I think having.
having that connect up right there actually makes perfect sense. And then give them a little, give their buff boy a little bit of armpit room to breathe. <laughs> so you know, like in sewing, where they give you like patterns, this is like drawing your sewing pattern right on the bottle. <laughs> have to be careful here because drawing the texture in here will make it also like have polygons. No! Why do you make this so big? No! Oh my goodness! Be right! Be right! Don't! Be right please! No! No! Zoom out please! No! Zoom out! What if my... I don't know why it's like this. Wait, what am I doing? I can just zoom in right here. No! Why won't you zoom in nicely? Please! Please be right all I ask of you! That goes there, and then we just make sure it connects up good. Okay, it connects up good. <laughs> no, don't draw there. Oh goodness. Oh goodness. My moose got stuck clicked in. <laughs> Alright. My mouse is not stuck clicked in anymore. <laughs> oh gee, it's got a mental image of Daisy San running in a circle going zoom! <laughs> Yeah, Daisy Sun is just very angry that I've been ace for like this entire stream. That's what's going on. It's sweet, sweet vengeance. <laughs> Alright, and then this center line goes right down the center here. I could probably actually do that. With, uh... Yeah, I could have just done that right here. And I think that's in the. Nope, that's the chest. <laughs> This needs to go right here. There's our pockets. I might actually work on this more outside of the stream, but I think my main goal for today, like as far as like Patreon type work goes, was also to get a test model, like, all the way into Maya, just to make sure it works. Who oh, pinged me? Who oh, pinged me? Oh, oh, it's my friend who's not in, who's not in the stream, so I guess I'll check that later. <laughs> Alright, I think there's this, and then we'll turn symmetry off so I can put my buttons in. Give Ace a few buttons. That there. Um, oh, I guess that goes below the base, huh? Oh, that's gonna be a really confusing spot to put a button. Let's not. Let's not put a button there. So, we're gonna deliberately space our buttons out so we can skip that spot where the texture pinches. <laughs> that way, I don't have to worry about it. And then we get one big one up there! Sweet! Yeah! To be fair, years ago I made the pattern mock-up for jacket by pinning fabric around the person I was making, for, making it for. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, when I made my um, cosplay stuff for Snake, I literally built the harness, the um, like parachute harness, around myself. Because I was like, I'm not sewing. <laughs> I'm not going to. I'm just gonna hot glue and hand stitch and electrical tape this entire thing together and it worked. It worked fantastically well. So yeah. Unless Daisy San wants to go battle death, Ace needs to get done. Yeah. Yeah. What's funny is I'm actually since Daisy San is like just a totally complete model and it would be really cool for me to have a model for myself to just be able to animate. Um which call it. 
because if I can export a rig from Maya before school's graduated, then I can just have it and work with it in Blender. <laughs> but I could, um, that way I'd be able to actually make my own idle animations for daisy san instead of recording some out of Vroid. So, yeah. I think we're gonna call this done for now, because I'm just gonna work on Ace's shirt for most of the stream, just to try to or whatever the, the next stream is. And try to just get that done, and then I'll worry about Ace's pants and his boots. Oh god, doing his boots is gonna be a nightmare, because I'm gonna have to do the top half on the shoes and then the bottom half on the, um, on the model, or on the pants. So, yeah. I'm going to save this. Um, if I hit raid channel, do I have anyone around that's live. Hmm. I don't... I'm also feeling like a bum who doesn't want to hang out in chats. Ah, oh, goodness. Also, I want to just listen to this song now. So, yeah. Anyway, thank you so much to everybody who hung out during the stream. I'm gonna... I'm gonna switch back to Daisy. Just... Just for the end of the stream. Say my goodbyes and thank yous to everyone for hanging out. Uh, select Hello, I'm back. I was I was restrained, but I'm free now. <laughs> I'm gonna put I'm gonna put my own yes in chat. Yes! Yes! <laughs> And we have this fantastic Ludwig the Holy Blade going. Because I really like this, so I wanted to play it on stream. Anyway, uh, yeah. Thanks so much to everyone for hanging out and chatting. And yeah, I'll be back on Friday. Oh, we got a Mr. Froggy! Yes, we got a Mr. Froggy! I'll be back on Friday at 2 p.m. It'll be the wildcard stream. I'm thinking I want to work on art fight attacks just because I haven't gotten to work on them at, like at all a week. And I have revenges that I need to get. And yeah. So thanks again for hanging out. If you had a good time, consider following. Uh, if you want to chat outside of the stream, go ahead and join the Discord server, which is linked in the panels below. And I will see you all later.